Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. Um, yeah, Cardano follows here at the moment um, perfectly the overall wave count. I can though tell you already that the green area that I have formulated here might be undercut. So we might actually go through this. Um, just need to be a bit uh, conscious about that due to the strength of that sell off. So obviously I told you here yesterday in the last few days that um, we, in my opinion, created here an impulsive wave one from the low at around about 49, no, 50.2 cents going up in wave one. That's perfectly fine. Uh, we then came down in here in uh, what I believed was only the wave A of a larger and unfo still unfolding wave two correction. Therefore, I told you here yesterday when we broke above this corrective channel that there is currently no evidence yet that the correction is over in the wave two because, you know, theoretically you could have said, all right, wave two is over here. But uh, the reason I put this pattern on the chart is because of my expectation what Bitcoin would be doing. And we talked about Bitcoin still in an, uh, still to be in an unfolding correction, which also worked out perfectly. Yeah. I then formulated for you this target range when we were down here just breaking out of the channel, told you that we will probably move into this green area uh, in a wave B correction, which is located here between the 61.8% um, FIB level and the 88.7% FIB level. Yeah. So what we're looking at here, in my opinion, was a flat correction. Now, it could be a flat, it could be a zigzag, it could be any of them at the moment. Um, normally a flat correction is correcting more. So that means in a wave B, we are going higher. Now the fact that we briefly broke even above the 61.8% FIB level, in my opinion, raises the case uh, or makes the case more likely that it's a flat correction. Why is that important uh, in contrast to a zigzag? Why is that important? So a flat correction has a pattern here of three waves here in the wave A, three waves in the wave B, and then five waves in the wave C. In contrast to a zigzag, which has five waves here, three waves in the wave B, and then five in the wave C. So a five, three, five pattern is a zigzag. A three, three, five pattern is a flat. Why does it make a difference? Well, what, what kind of, uh, what, what is happening in a wave A isn't necessarily important now because it's happened already. What is important to understand is what happens in the wave C. In a wave, um, in a flat correction, you oftentimes see the wave C being very, very sharp and strong. And that is exactly what we're seeing here. Um, overall, it had a big, or uh, uh, an important meaning also for the wave B, how much it would retrace. Therefore, I have raised this green area a, a little bit higher than for the other coins. And I think that was spot on. We, we met it bang in the middle, 58.2. That is exactly where we came up to found a strong bearish reaction in the wave B. So anybody who traded this, congratulations, even though I must say there was a bit of luck in here as well. Yeah, I mean, hitting all these targets on a lower time frame for basically all coins where I gave you these targets, Solana, ETH, ADA, Bitcoin, you need some luck as well, okay? Um, but overall, it was just the right wave count that we formulated here as well. And we're now in the wave C target area. So I told you that after the wave B, we are probably going to see the wave C between 51.8 and 53.7 cents. Now we're in there now. I, due to the strength of this sell-off, I mean, we can assume this is still carrying on. So we need to be a bit careful. Key support level here, yeah, around 52 cents. The previous wave too low here. Should we lose this level? Yeah, the lower support basically all the way down to 51.9 cents. If we lose this level, then the next support, the next key support would be the previous wave too low here in yellow. That's at 50.2 cents. If we drop below that, yeah, then we have to change the overall wave count and we have to consider that maybe the overall wave two wasn't actually here, but that it was actually over here. So that all of this was just another wave one, but we're not there yet and it doesn't really change anything imminently. Um, so we leave it for here now. Condition to hold this wave count is that the 50.2 cent level is holding. In the current wave count, I would suggest at any point between now 
and 50.2 cents. I mean, ideally in the green target range, yeah. The reversal up in a wave three, but at the moment there is no, absolutely no evidence yet that the wave C is over. I mean, we can formulate here, uh, now that we have an idea where the wave B ended, we can calculate the ideal target for the wave C by taking the length of the wave A, by adding it to the beginning of the wave C, and then you get as a first key target the 53 cent level. That is the one to one ratio. Now, we saw a small reaction already to this, as you can see here, but it's not high confidence yet. Yeah, I mean, the ideal target would be actually <laughs> the 1.618 extension. That's actually at 49.8 cents. That's actually below the yellow wave two. So, irrespective of the wave two being here, we need to keep an eye on that 1.618 extension at 49.8. Sense. So I'm keep I'm putting that now here as a, a line on the chart, 49.8, and also here the 53 cent level. Now, to be honest, um, if we go really to 49.8, then we have to change the overall wave count. It wouldn't necessarily make the chart suddenly bearish. Um, it just means we have to make a few changes. It doesn't change anything in the overall wave pattern, and also doesn't change anything in the. Um, in my view that we can be here carefully bullish for ADA. My view is still that as long as we hold above 45 cents, uh, which is this wave too low down here from the 26th of July, we can remain carefully bullish. So let's keep an eye on that possible reversal here. The move down currently doesn't have enough structure yet to be really confident in which kind of wave we currently are. I mean, if I look at this, I would rather say, right, maybe this was because the wave C has five waves. That might have been the wave one, that the wave two, we're now in the wave three, there will be a wave four up and the wave five down. Yeah, possibly hitting here 51.9 cents or even 49.8. Okay, before we can expect the reversal. Okay, so that's my update about um, ADA. When can we actually be confident uh, that the wave two is over? Uh, it will be when we move above the wave B. Okay, 58.2 cents. Um, maybe earlier, but that depends on the structure that is now unfolding and I'll keep you updated about ADA. Might make another update video later. Okay, that's my update about ADA. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.